Have you ever been confused in Photoshop? Well, we all have at some point or the other. Sometimes we are confused as to where to keep the text, to which background image to use, which blend mode to use, and we keep on scrolling and choosing different versions. Maybe you like the text at the top with a different background image and logo at a different place, and maybe you like the text in the bottom also with no background image. Which one to use? Most of the times we are confused and we switch from version to version, turning layers off and on, trying different blend modes, and it becomes a little confusing. And we also get confused as to which version will work for us, which one to save. Now here's where layer comps come to rescue. Layer comps allow you to save and record different versions, and also at the same time, it allows you to save all the version, right, in JPEGs or PSDs, whatever you like all at the same time. It's a magical tool, we must know about it, and once you know it, I'm sure you will use it in your daily workflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this is one of the posters that I was making for the upcoming collaboration video. And if you want to be a part of it, check this link right here. Okay, so here are different groups. I have grouped everything up and you should do that too. Name every layer, group every layer. Now let me show you some things first. So if I go to Windows and Layer Comps, this Layer Comps shows up. Now I have several Layer Comps right here. I've already done it, so I have three versions for this one. This one, this one, if I just click here and this one. All the three versions in the same document. Nothing is changing, just the layer visibility, the layer effects, and the layer movement. Nothing else is changing. So I've got three versions in the same. And above this, suppose I like this one, I can also do one more interesting thing. If I open the background image, if I choose this one, and if I open up the properties, if I click on the properties, I can choose black, red, see? Anything can be done. So let's learn how to do it. Okay, let's switch back to black and let's come to the original. Original is there. Now, I created, I actually recorded these versions. How to do that? Well, let's do it right from the beginning. Let's delete everything. So I'm gonna delete this one. Yes, I'm gonna delete this one. Let's delete all the three. And we'll do that right from the beginning. So how to do it? Well, suppose you like this version, you're satisfied with this version. Let's keep it at the side so that you can see. And uh, suppose you want to have a different background image, okay? So what you do, you open up a different background image and you turn this off and you turn this on. And when you turn this on, you want to move this below and you want to change the background of the text and you want to do all that stuff. But before you do any of that, once you're satisfied with a version, save it, okay? That's step one. So let's turn this back off and turn this on. And we want to save everything right here. Now what does layer comp do? Let's understand that for a second. Now layer comp is a thing which records three things. What three things? Visibility of the layer, whether the layer is on or off. Number two, movement of the layer. And number three, this is important, the effects. All right, so if I just go ahead and click on this new layer comp, it will show three things. Just as I told you, visibility of the layer. What is visibility? Whether I turn this off or on, it will record that and that is visibility. Position of the layer. Where is it placed? Is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? And this refers to the content of the layer, not the order. So if I place the text there, that's the movement of the layer, okay? Not the order, right? And then appearance, which means layer style. Any kind of layer style effects, whether that's drop shadow, inner glow, outer glow, bevel, anything, okay? Blend if. So I'm going to name this original and you can also leave some comments here if you want. I'm going to leave it at that and click OK. Now that is saved. Now suppose I want a different image right here. So I would just turn it off and it is recording what? The visibility of the layer. So if I turn it off and turn this on, fine, that's looking great. But I want the text to go down. So what I would do, I would choose the text and Ctrl Command T and move it down just like that. And by the way, just hold shift to move it in the same line. I like it here and hit enter. And I want to turn off this text. So i open that and turn this off. And the logo, I want it to move up. And I also want to turn off the text background, this one. And the logo, let's move the logo at the top. Let's zoom it out a little bit. And let's move it somewhere around there. Or wherever you want to move it or here. Let's move it here 
and hit enter once you're satisfied and that's done now once you're satisfied with this and by the way you can add effects to it and it also records the effects so if you want to add a drop shadow to this one let's do that really quickly to the text right click on it go to blending options it opens up what the layer styles dialog box another way to open the layer styles dialog box is to just double click on the right hand side of the layer it will open up the layer styles dialog box and then you can just apply a drop shadow maybe it adds a drop shadow to it increase the opacity a bit it looks great click ok so suppose you want to save this and you want to turn off the bulb doesn't look right ok create new and let's save it version 2 click ok now anytime you want to switch to version 1 just click on this one don't just select it just click on this one and you'll be able to switch from here to there now as you can see there's a discrepancy here now when I move to this version it still shows you the text background okay so what is the problem let's have a look so once we save this okay let's move to this in this version this just didn't move it's in the same position now why did that happen it is because we moved the group not the layer and here's an important lesson that I want you to understand you have to move the layers not the group now let's do that again right from the beginning if we go ahead and do this from the beginning okay this one looks fine now I just had to make a group of this and name a demo okay there we are in the beginning and let's delete all of that it's from the very beginning let's delete this both okay there we go okay now turn this demo text off great create new original that is fine now okay let's turn it off turn this on come to the layer not the group come to the layer open up the text what keeps you creating you're gonna move that down just like here okay and we're gonna turn this off we're gonna turn the background off this one and we're gonna select the logo this one control command T and move it right here there we go okay so when you have more than one layer in a group it kinda messes up that's great now let's turn this off bulb great okay. now when you add say right click on it go to blending options do the same drop shadow everything is fine okay and then create a new one this one version 2 now when you click original boom awesome so keep in mind layers not groups which has more than one layer great now let's create one more version but before we do that let's understand what these three does now these three icons just stand for visibility movement and effects okay you can toggle this on or off now suppose you're in the original version and you want to move to version 2 but you don't want the effects of version 2 in this case the effect was drop shadow you don't want the drop shadow of version 2 but you want to move to version 2 so I'm gonna check this off the effects off and everything is fine I want to keep the visibility and I want to keep the movement and then when I shift see the drop shadow doesn't come in now once I turn on the effect you have to again click on this one the drop shadow comes back in so these three turn the visibility effects and movement on or off now if you look at the bottom of the layer comps panel there are these three icons okay so suppose you made some changes to that and you want to burn that to that version for example you just turned on this a demo text layer okay and you don't want to create a different version of it but you want to modify the original version and you want to just save this to that original version so here's how to do it now this one updates the visibility of this this one updates the movement and this one updates the effects and this one does it all all three of them so you want to click this one and this one updates the original version now the original version has that demo text okay so suppose you wanted to make change to a version and you want to save that change to that particular version you would click on this one this stands for update all okay for that particular version now let's create another version of it so say I want this background and turn this off I want this background and I want to turn this one off I want to keep the logo at the same place and you get the idea I want to turn the bulb off this one off and you want to move the text 
Okay, there we go. How to, what keeps you creating? Let's move it right there. And you turn this off, turn the background off, everything off. And you also want to turn the logo off. Now you can just create it and name it version three. Okay. There we go. Version two, version one, version two. Everything is fine. Now you're wondering if you're wondering, how did I get that separate colors for the original version? So if I, if you move to original version and if you go to the background, because if you choose this, have a look at the icon. This is not an image. This is a linked document. This is a linked image. So I can choose black or red. How? If I click on this one, if I go to the properties, if you cannot see properties, go to windows and then choose properties. And then if you click edit contents, this will open up a separate Photoshop document, which is this document. So here's what I did. Let's open up the layers comps here. So here's what I did. I created a separate PSD. I had the background microphone and I had two layers, two solid overlay layers, this one and this one. Okay. Simple solid color adjustment layers with 70% opacity, red 70% opacity, black 70% opacity. And that's what I did. And I saved different versions of it. So one was the black and the other one was red. Okay. In one, this one was turned on in the other, that one was turned on. So I created layer comps for this document. Then what I did, then I imported this into this one. How did I do it? Well, it was very simple. Go to file and then place a linked. And once you click place linked, I chose the same file. I placed it and it opened up as this layer. I'm going to cancel it right now. Once you open that, you can choose edit contents that will open up that PSD or it also shows you the layer comps of that document. Well, you can choose red, you can choose black, whatever you want. Hope that was helpful in solving the confusion. You can always switch between different versions and also you can save all the versions. How? Go to file, export, and then layer comps to files. If you click this, it will allow you to save it as JPEGs, PSDs, whatever you want. Now, once you choose layer comps to file, it asks you which folder do you want to save it in? You can, let's keep it at E and then let's create a new folder in E, test one. Okay. E test one, not this one. Okay. There we go. This one, click okay. And you can name it and JPEG, the quality, everything, run. It will save all three of them. Now let's head over to E and let's see whether they have saved it. And by the way, you can select any file format you want. So let's open up E and it should be there. Test one, there we go. All three images there, right? You can choose anything. Also, you can go to file, export and export them to PDF too. It's very simple. I hope this helped you and I hope this is useful to you in your daily workflow. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.